And you can see he's, he's, he's already suggesting to Nick Rodriguez here, try this single leg. Shirtless for Rodriguez, blue and white for Luke Rockhold, Josh Palmer, Dan Strauss, and Tom Barlow bringing you all the action here from the ICC in Newport, Wales. And Rockhold is giving him the giving leg. Him the leg. <laughs> yeah, we've, got, we've got two referees here just to make sure that they stay on the <laughs> stage. Now, if you've seen Nick Rodriguez power double people, you'll understand why. Had a fantastic performance at uh, the ADCCs in LA a couple of months ago. Took out Muhammad Ali, Orlando Sanchez. And uh, of course, Cyborg fell in the final to Kainan kind of Duarte. Rockhold really going heavy with yeah. those collar ties and snapping Rodriguez around. Well, you know, Rodriguez, had, sorry, uh, Rockhold was he was very critical of a lot of the modern style of jiu-jitsu. You know, he wants someone who's going to get stuck in, who's going to play but for that, top position. that is Nicky Rodriguez. And that is Nicky Rodriguez, exactly. <laughs> he, he's very happy he's to critical. have this type of match. And he, yeah. there we see uh, the snap down of Rodriguez. That's been such a big weapon for him. Slams people down into the mat and then follows up. Yeah, what, what this is really... What's really interesting about this is that usually Nicky's just able to overwhelm people yeah. with his physicality, and he's probably not going to be able to do that against someone as, as much of an athlete as no, Rockhold. You look at who he used to train with, uh, uh, aka wrestling-wise, and then you know you look to who he's grappling with now, RVCA. You know, I mean, Rodriguez is going to try and... I mean, he's kind of wanting to turn this into a fight, but fighting is Luke Rockhold's thing. Yeah, yeah that, that probably isn't the best idea. <laughs> no, but that is a big snap down. But he's definitely not moving Rockhold anywhere near as much as he's moved his other opponents. No. The, the, it, look, trying to agree a weight for this match was really one of the, the yeah, hardest things in the matchmaking, I'm told. You know, they agreed um, on 230 pounds, about 104 kilos, a day of weigh-in. And uh, that was 10 a.m. this morning. Rockhold weighing in at 101, Rodriguez at 104. So actually not that much in it at the end of the day. Stop! Stop! <laughs> oh, they, they are looking. Uh, interesting. Rockhold is not taking his eyes, and you can see Gilbert Burns quickly off his match with Langaker in the corner of Luke Rockhold. Whenever you want, he's there. Rodriguez traveling without a corner today, but he's he's picked up uh, Jeremy Skinner from Absolute MMA to help him out. I like this. is the first time we've really seen Nick come up against someone who can handle that intensity, that physicality, yeah. that aggression. On the Polaris stage, absolutely. Yeah. You know, he... Uh, Rocco with a lovely little throw by almost. Uh, Got a bit of blood. Hey. Oh, yeah, and this is opened up a cut on the right eye of Luke Rockhold. I'm getting throwbacks to the Orlando Sanchez match now that uh, a cut opened up on. We're going to go to the medic quickly. Oh, a smile from <laughs> Luke Rockhold asking, when's Rodriguez going to do what he says and shoot on me? And we're just waiting for a medic here. It's, it is pretty uncommon to get cuts in grappling, so you forgive us if the medics aren't immediately present. It's, um, oh, and it's, uh, it's definitely going to need a little bit of attention. It has opened up here. It's not the top leg, but it's going to bleed, isn't it? So there's a good shot of it. It's just to the side of the eye. You know, wrestlers, man, they're a different breed, you know? They go forehead to forehead, blow for blow, and uh, they try and make it tough and uncomfortable. Oh, dear. Uh, actually, it's now actually they moving up. That's actually a decent-sized cut. I think we're going to need some super glue or this some steri gonna, strips. This or is going to be a big, big lot of shame. Yeah, maybe. let's take a look here. So it's Rodriguez pulling down into the collar ties, forehead to forehead, and there you go. It was a clash yeah. of heads in the snap down. If they have to call this because of oh, this be cut, that's going to be absolutely I mean, devastating. It's tough. It's just not... You don't necessarily anticipate needing professional MMA-level cut men at grappling events. It's not a common occurrence. And, you know, our medics are putting some pressure on it Matt's side, but whether they have any of the um, components needed to close that cut, be yeah, it Vaseline or... Yeah, or, yeah you but know. even if you start putting... Oh, it's going to rub open again. If I you mean, start putting glue on, they're not know. going to do that and then send the guy straight into grapple and... 10 seconds time no I mean you know if, if they're both content to press on I say press no, on I and let him bleed but yeah, I agree in all I don't, honesty you know, it's just yeah, a little it, bit of red sweat Luke agrees with me <laughs> I'm not sure biologically it is just some red sweat Tom but interesting concept Oh, and uh, yeah, they need to get some vaseline. Okay, so conveniently, and we're going to fill in here. We got Dan Hardy, Matt side judge, on this side of the. Uh, Someone bring me some fucking vaseline. There you go. Bring me some vaseline. Seal it up, and let's get this match going. Let's go. We are only a couple of a couple of minutes into this one, so. Uh, 
I'm sure somebody has got some grease we can... Uh, oh, it looks like they've found some. Here we go. So Dan Hardy, obviously very experienced uh, in the world of striking, in the world of mixed martial arts, is going to give a bit of advice here to the cup man on how to close this up with Vaseline effectively. And you know what? It may rub open again quickly, but uh, it's going to buy us some time here to see what can happen. Luckily, it's not going to drain into his eye. It is going to run down yep. the side of his head. So few people, yeah, few people on that side are going to get splattered. Let's have one more look at the replay. It was snapped down into a headbutt there. And we are going to get back underway here. So, end of the replay there, we are back underway and Rockhold is threatening that single. So the interesting thing that one that Luke's doing now and also what he said when he came over and to, to, to see the medic. Oh, when's he, he going to shoot? When's he going to shoot? I wonder whether he's hoping for a guillotine yeah, he's gonna, he's gonna try and the shot the or shot. something like that. Kamora grip off of the shot. Because Rodriguez is powerful, but is he powerful enough to lift someone who's the stature of Luke Rockhold <laughs> and, and actually elevate him? There we go to the back oh, and easily oh. shocked off by Rockhold. Yeah, Rockhold's kind of he's baiting get, him to get that. That can make him really head. wary of yeah. him. He, he certainly could be. I mean, look, Nick Rodriguez is is mentally very strong, but if we're honest, he's he's had a little bit of a dull run since the ADCCs. You know, he lost a rematch to Conan Duarte um, again at, at, at uh, an event in Philadelphia, and then he went up to the uh, you know an event up in Boston a few weeks ago and uh, lost to Lucas Barbosa there. Um, after winning his opening round match. So, you know, this is a, it's a big match for him and he's got to keep that momentum going. It's, it, it's interesting that, that Nicky isn't shooting, especially when he's giving him that leg. That yeah, is a lot of respect <laughs> shown for Luke Rockhold. Yeah. yeah. Rockhold isn't doing that much, though. He's just kind of baiting no, him. He's not. He's not. He's not really putting the attacks yeah, in at the moment. We've got one minute left in this opening five minutes and. Um, you know, it, it might just go the way of Nick Rodriguez for the first five simply because he's the one moving forward here. Yeah, yeah Luke really looking for a, a, a nice deep underhook. There. Powerful, powerful voice from Oli Geddes there. Which well, I think he's really got to be. Great performance gotta, today. Got to cut through the uh, yeah. aggression and the testosterone going on here. Big strip of the grip from Rockhold. That's an arm drag from Nick Rodriguez. Rockhold getting in on the collar ties now. And, and he's again, starting to back Rodriguez up as well. Yeah, he is. He's pushing him forwards. You know, we talk sometimes about how athletes deal with, with the long-haul flights. Both these guys coming over from the U.S. Of course, Rockhold coming from the West Coast, East Coast for Rodriguez. I'm not sure when Rockhold arrived. Rodriguez flew out on uh, Wednesday Look, Rockhold is pressuring forwards. Both he's walking onto him every time. Mm. Yeah, both these guys missing their Thanksgiving back home. I hope those of you watching in the U.S. have had a good holiday. Okay, this is it. He's giving him the leg. Stop! <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Man, fighting someone like this is incredibly oh, mentally draining. Yeah. Yeah. And you can kind of see it wearing on Nicky Rod a little bit. Yeah. He's getting hesitant in his movements, oh, but God. backing but the, up. But at the same time, this isn't scoring. There's, you know? there's going to be some trash talk at the end of this one, whichever way it goes. Drag down from Rodriguez, not able to get purchase off the back end. Has to be careful, though. Rockhold's keeping good posture when that happens. He can reshoot in towards the legs. Yeah, cuts open up again. Uh, yeah, they, just wipe it off, reseal it, it off, again. let him go. <laughs> we put a bandage on. <laughs> it wouldn't stay. Yeah, well, let's see. Looks fine. Someone said, uh, Nick Rodriguez is corner said, First round's yours. <laughs> Luke, Luke disagrees with that. Yeah, I'm inclined a, it, to agree. I think it's uh, a tough one. Uh, Nicky's kind of the only one really going for anything, even though he hasn't been able to put anything together. You have to say this is a very, it's an interesting match just because of the way the tempo is going with the cut stoppage and and uh, the gamesmanship here. Yeah. But you know we, we're still barely a third of the way through this one. But both athletes getting wiped off here. Matt side. Well, you can see Nicky Rod's face is a little bit marked up himself. From uh, There's probably a lot of clashing of heads going yeah. on. There's a lot yeah, of heavy right. collar ties. They're trying to snap in into those entanglements very quickly. <laughs> Round of applause for Luke Rockhold. Straight back at it. This, of course, is rest time for Rodriguez, though, and he's going to shoot low single here. He's usually so effective off that low knee position. You know, people find it very hard to deal with, but Rockhold's just like a brick wall in front of him. Mm. Stop. 
Yeah, it's going to be hard to get some purchase on Rodriguez, though, with the, Fight! the topless. Uh, yeah, people don't realize how much of a difference that makes. There really is no friction after just a few minutes. Oh, and he's gone to the back. And he pick up. Trying to go to the back here. There's one hook. Now, Rodriguez is famous for not really worrying about the clean rear naked choke. He's going to go straight on the face yeah. if he can. He's going to. He's looking to climb up through here. Rockhold trying to definitely clear one hook. Oh, Excellent arm. downward dog. Yeah, arm chopped out, and yeah. this is a big, going to be a big squeeze for Nick Rodriguez. And he's just going to squeeze it. Yeah, and that's a Rockhold big dude. Rockhold clears Rockhold easily. Doing a good job of escaping, potentially in an arm triangle, though avoids that too. Yeah, it turns down to Mountain. I wonder if they're talking to each other here. Rodriguez, I think, is trying to rub the head in on the cart a little bit, but it's yeah. Mount Fulham. I'd kind of like to see them reset in the middle of the the mat here. Yeah. I think. I hope Rodriguez doesn't rub on the cart. I want this to go on. Yeah, well, his, his head's on that side of the body. He's trying it out. Uh, no, 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 Ezekiel. Yeah. You can hear Dorino in the background just saying nothing going. We're going to reset in the mount position in the middle of the mat. And this is very firmly putting this second five minutes in uh, Rodriguez. But he tapped at uh, his watch and asked for the time from his corner. And I hate to tell him, we are barely halfway through this one. It's a really strong position for Rodriguez now. Both the arms underneath, it's going to be hard to bridge out of. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what uh, his sequence is. We just don't often see Rodriguez take mount. You know, it's hunting for the back. It looks like he's trying to walk that hand up to a head and arm position. Yeah, you can maybe, maybe take the choke or transition back to the back That's from there. it. Force Luke, you want to get a reaction when you're in mount position. There's not that many attacks from here except for a uh, head and arm choke. But if you can force your opponent to turn onto his side, then you open up that option to the back yeah, again. It's what it looks like happening. It's very, now. very common to use the Americana to do that. Use the Americana, start That's to expose gonna get, the back. He's going to gift wrap him here. He's exactly. got chest behind the tricep. He's going to try and find his way behind. Rockhold manages to get his shoulders back to the mat. Yeah, interesting. No frames from Luke Rockhold here. No attempt to get these arms on the inside. Well, elbows I, mean, I think he hips. is trying, but it's easier said no. than done. And uh, feet crossed all the way underneath for Rodriguez. Yeah, it's going to make it very difficult for Rockhold to bridge. He can't elevate his hips as much as normal. Generate that force. Big nice bridge. bridge. Just clears. Off, but if he's going to take this second period back, Rockhold's got to get something substantial on the board here. It's only a minute oh, 35. It's Gary. That's a big throw for Nick Rodriguez. Hits it cleanly. <laughs> Rockhold is just staring him down the entire time. I feel like Rockhold respected that as a technique. Yeah. <laughs> like it was a beautiful yeah. entry. It certainly was. I mean, it's the forward pressure from Rockhold. And uh, it's definitely putting the pressure on. on Rockhold to push forward here. Which, of course, is going to open him up to more of those throws M might be a little bit more reluctant to present that leg now as well what do you think you think luke's just thinking wish we had gloves on right now <laughs> <laughs> well it's a different ball game you got to respect anybody who wants to put something on the line in something that isn't that absolutely forte. absolutely and he's pushing forward ah! here Nicky's looking, oh, look at Rocco looking just up, walking yeah. him down stalking I mean, him the next five minutes uh, i think gas tank wise are going to be interesting but realistically, are we going to see Luke catch a submission on, uh, on Nicky? It's tough. Even if he loses people. the... Yeah, there aren't many people who've done it, you know. It's really only kind and Duarte who's managed to, to heel hook um, Nick Rodriguez. Other than that, he's, he's barely lost many matches, and they're usually by decision. Because obviously, the second round definitely to Nicky Rodriguez. First round, I'd say, pretty, pretty much have to give it to Nicky as well. Just on the aggression. Yeah, he was definitely Rodrigo pressing the action, yeah. trying some arm drags, trying some snap downs. Luke's really just kind of pressing forwards at the moment. And staring at him. Yeah, and trying to some, intimidate you know, him. It is good that the staring, you know, he's been training a lot recently as a, as a model. Oh, you know, there we go. Oh. See, Rock, Rockhold is trying to find a body lock. He's trying to find an upper body tie. He's not changing yeah. level to attack the legs. Yeah. And, and, and Rodriguez is just so good at keeping the hips Fight. back. You've seen it's, it's almost a slight cry of anguish from Rockhold briefly, but he's certainly trying to find his way in now. 4.30 left, sweep single. Rockhold presses forward off the back of it. See Rodriguez taking some big, deep breaths, though. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a lot of energy to, to cover that kind of distance with that kind of body mass. Well, he has had a bit of a weight cut as well, hasn't he? Yeah, it's cut a little bit again on this, obviously combined with the water retention from uh, the seven hours on the plane. Josh Palmer, Tom Barlow, and Dan Strauss bringing you the final action here from a 
a great evening at Polaris 12 from the ICC in Newport, Wales. Thank you for joining us on UFC Fight Pass. Still four minutes left in this main event here. Nick Rodriguez versus Luke Rockhold. What do you reckon? A guard pull from Luke Rockhold? That's what I'd like to see. Let's get it to the ground again. Makes yeah. you wonder what, how that would have played out. Yeah. 340 left and a duck behind from Rodriguez. Rockhold not able to come up on top. It's definitely a tactical move, uh, Nicky going in with the bare chest. Uh, uh, he's always he's always competed like that. From well, day, he always walks around like that from day one. Uh, but I think it, it's smart. It means that he can get those entries for those takedowns and not have to worry about people catching stuff off of it. Has a history of wrestling and one year at Division Three College at Farham College and then uh, left to, to take up some Instagram modeling for a while before taking up jiu-jitsu a little over 18 months ago. It's currently a purple belt, but obviously has uh, a lot of mat hours beyond that. Stop. Yeah, Luke Rockhold made his MMA debut all the way back in 2007. He's been at this a very long time. You know, bear in mind that was after he'd already won Nogi World, so... Definitely the experience edge for Rockhold, but right now Rodriguez in on the body lock again. Rockhold tries to turn and throw, and it was good awareness from Rockhold, I think, that uh, he knew they were at the edge of the mat. I mean, Rockhold is pushing forward in this third area. That's a big collar tie. I feel like Rockhold might try it back, though. Yeah, two minutes left on this one. Keeping it on the feet for the most part here. Rodriguez again looking to go low single off that uh, single knee down. And you can see Rockhold just can't quite find the way in. Yeah, this isn't much dissimilar to how I thought this match might go. I, I thought that Nicky would have a hard time taking Luke down. It wasn't going to be as easy as he's had in a lot of his other matches. Yeah, he does genuinely have uh, some, some a tired, look, like real... yeah, tired look on his face. Yeah. I yeah, mean, I know he'll, I know he'll say... He, after blast double. Yeah, I know he'll say he does this day in, day out. But, uh, you know, this is, this is definitely one of those grueling matches. Mm. Ah, the first shot we've seen from uh, Luke Rockhold. Yeah, it would have been nice for him to do some more of those. Here really we go. Really go. Right. Oh, and he got in on the hips, but wasn't able to finish that penetration step. I wonder if... I wonder, we've got a minute left now. Yeah, th this is just going to be... I think it's going to be too little too late for Luke Rockhold. Oh. Oh. And he has gone off into the table. They are running back Straight into the mat to it's complete this. <laughs> saying, Rockhold saying, keep it on the mat. He's got a minute left here. And I hate to say it, but it could be too little, too late for Luke Rockhold, but we're going to get some action for the last minute, nonetheless. He's really backing yeah. Nicky Rod yeah. into that corner now. He wants the double leg off the stage. Uh, Benson Henderson, yeah. where you at? <laughs> nice oh, shot by shot Nicky Rodriguez. Rodriguez. This is what angle. Rockhold's wanted the whole time. Yeah, yeah looking for the arm and guillotine, can't stay connected, and Rodriguez backs away. Oh, shit, they're coming uh, towards us again. Oh, this is... <laughs> <laughs> He's really bringing it to Nicky Rod now, but yeah. 20 seconds left. Oh, and Rodriguez, uh, definitely some deep breaths here. 18 seconds left. Unfortunately, I think Luke Rockhold is going to be seeing the wrong side of the judges' scorecards yeah. in this Almost battle. Certainly. It's not for lack of trying, though. Final seconds here. Luke Rockhold, Nick Rodriguez. Shot from Rockhold. Nice reaction shot. shot back. And that is the end of it, and... They slap hands at least a little bit of respect at the end. Front double bicep for Nick Rodriguez, as you would expect. And Luke Rockhold looks up, checks out the cut on his eye. Judges' scorecard's being collated. I'll let you guys discuss a couple of replays. I'm going to go and uh, <laughs> stand next to these two gentlemen and look very small in doing so. <laughs> Got to make sure the hair's looking good. Yeah. Priorities. Yep. So here we have some of that action. You see heavy collar ties from both guys trying to bull each other around that, the stage. That was the headbutt that caused the uh, cut over the eye. Yeah, it was great. Rockhold just kept going. This is that beautiful lift takedown straight to, 
towards the back. Nice fast transitions from Rodriguez there. Couldn't stabilize though. And that beautiful Kataguruma. Yeah, we just needed a, a, a mat twice as big for this match. Yeah, really. absolutely. You see a lot of head fighting going on, trying to get that optimal position. Nice defense, and then just a knee tap from Rodriguez right at the end. Ladies and gentlemen, your main event goes the distance, and we go to your judges, with all three calling the bout the same, declaring your winner by unanimous decision, Nick Rodriguez!